have been a little uh, under the weather lately and haven't been able to uh, stream for uh, the last week, but uh, I'm feeling a little bit better, and so I'm back. I uh, thought I would, I saw this really funny um, patch that someone had made and put on Facebook Marketplace, and, and uh, it was an asshole merit badge, so I thought it would be uh, pretty funny to go ahead and uh, make one of our own. Now, I'm not going to do a, uh, a embroidery all of a sudden. No, this is still a laser channel. Um, so we're going to laser it out of, <coughs> excuse me, out of leather. Uh, so I've got a couple of pieces of leather over at the laser. Um, hang on, just looking at something. Try that, changing the title of this stream. It still doesn't like it. Um, okay, we'll try this. Huh, it still doesn't like it. Oh, well, uh, we'll, we'll risk it. Okay, anyhow, uh, let me show you on Lightroom what we got going on, all right? All right, so here we are. Uh, I've got this uh, image made up. Now, I did not uh, steal this image or anything like that. I made this one myself. I just took the concept and remade it uh, to my liking. Uh, I wanted to see how this was going to look on leather. Uh, so we've got the settings set up here. Let's just double check. So we've got in our library, if we look at the leather, no thickness engrave. Yep, 500 millimeters per second, 13% power. So not much power at all. Uh, and then when we cut it out, uh, this is set for one and a half mil leather. I don't think any of this leather is actually that thick. Let me grab a piece of it here. This is pretty thin stuff. Um, that would be more like veg tan leather. This stuff is, is no, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5. Yeah, it's pretty close, so I was wrong. Okay, so... Uh, this leather, so I've got some brown leather, I've got some black, and I have some suede leather. It's all about the same thickness. Um, I've got them over in the laser. Um, so I've got that set up. The, uh, the cut, 60 millimeters a second and 60% power uh, to cut all the way through, and that's just the blue line on the outline there. Let me right-click on... So I'm, in the cuts and layers of light burn, if you right-click on any of these it will blink on the image over here uh, what is actually in that layer so if I right click that you can see the outline around there blink or if I do it more obviously it will do the black layer and the whole thing blinks okay except for that outline which you see stays uh, as well as my tool layers that I have uh, in here that I use to assign the uh, the text to a path, so that I could get that nice uh, circle arrangement of the text. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and select this bad boy and send it over to the laser. So we have the our origin set up to be the upper left hand corner. So keep it in mind, there's going to be a lot of blank space around there when I line it up, but I've got a lot of just scrap leather laying around, so I'm not too worried about waste. Um, everything else looks good. We'll go ahead and send that over. We're going to call this the A-hole badge. A-hole bad. That's all that uh, the Ruida controller will allow is that many letters. Um, if we go over to File List and refresh it, uh, you'll see down here at the bottom, there it is. Now, one thing you can do from here that uh, I didn't know until I just started clicking stuff is you can calculate how long it's going to take. Now, you can do that from here, right? It says 46 seconds. Do you think it's going to be different or exactly the same? Guaranteed it's not going to be exactly the same. Lightburn is doing calculations based on uh, numbers that it tries to deduce from the machine itself uh, and it gets pretty close as long as you've updated those numbers um, in the settings 
Uh, however, if I calculate this, it'll kick on the laser, it'll fire it up kind of like it's going to actually start, and then immediately uh, shuts back off. Now the vent and everything keeps going, so there's a vent fan still running, but you see that it says it's going to take a minute and four seconds, so quite a bit of difference there. And I guarantee that that calculation is going to be much, much closer to the original uh, or to the actual um, time that it's going to take. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll move over to the laser and uh, we'll go ahead and try this out on a couple of different materials. So this one's suede. We have a black uh, leather. It's kind of a shiny, and then we have the brown uh, textured leather. Um, they're all fairly nice. Nothing, nothing major though. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring up our file here. Focus that. There it is. Set up. Now. We will go ahead and set our origin right there. We're going to check our speed. Okay. Uh, we're going to frame that out. I still have to focus, so hopefully I don't forget to focus. I hate it when I do that. <laughs> Pretty small. Only an inch and a half. You know, about the size of a merit badge. If you were a scout, you'd know. <laughs> All right. Um, so that looks like pretty good. Now we're just going to focus the laser. My dog goes nuts as my wife and kids get home. <laughs>
can kind of see it. I think rubbing it helps. I don't know if that's because I put my oils from my thumb down into the newly engraved areas or if I just wipe some crud out. I think the winner is the suede. Black's not bad. Well, it's not too bad. It's just that. That looks amazing. Yeah. Well, you let me know what you guys think. Which one would you want as an American badge? Suede, brown, or black? Yeah. I like the suede. Definitely. That looks good, don't it? I like it. So let me know what you guys think.